Hi there everybody, my name's Champagne Charlie. I've been playing uh, blues guitar now for over 40 years and I'd like to show you a little exercise now demonstrating how to play a slide guitar as a solo acoustic instrument rather than a lead electric instrument. And we're going to look at a 12 bar today uh, based on the Elmore James Dusma Broom lick which is a very familiar lick to slide guitar players. Um, we'll just run through what we're going to do just so you can see where we're heading for. So we go right through the 12 bars with a little little turn around at the start. <coughs> First of all, this is my uh, Regal Duolian Resonator guitar. I've had that for a few years now. It's um, a very nice instrument, very pleased with it. Um, it's in sort of a mid-range instrument, not uh, too expensive, and it seems to play very well to me. Uh, Regal don't make this particular model anymore, but they've got a number of um, you know, solid steel instruments still and various other things, and an excellent manufacturer. Um, now, we've got to get into open D tuning for us this slide exercise so open D tuning for those who don't know um, you drop the top string the E string down a tone to D drop the B string down a tone to A drop the G the third string a semitone down to F sharp the fourth string stays the same the fifth string stays on A the same and the sixth string drops down from E to B, E to D rather. Right, now the art of playing as a solo is you keep the bass strings going steadily throughout the tune and picking out the top notes with a slide on the top three strings at the same time. things at once now so the steady four to the bar with a thumb preferably using a thumb pick and to give it a bit of a variety you can get a more of a shuffle lick going by working up to the second fret on the fifth string give it give this give a classic shuffle lick just give you a few bars of that same time you've got to pick out the top notes with your index finger and the Elmore James lick the classic lick is basically 12th fret on the first string 12th fret on the second string 11th fret on the third string 12th fret on the fourth string so we'll just work through that So that's 12th fret on the first string, same time as playing the 12th fret on the second string, then the 11th fret on the third string, 12th fret on the fourth string. But to give it a bit of colour, you need to have a bit of vibrato in it. Oh, it sounds very dead, so you've got, to, you've got to move your hand to get the vibrato. Now we're going to the the fifth bar of the 12 bar and we're going to go down to the fifth fret of the guitar and slide right across all the strings so you keep that bass going with a slide in place and pick out your top three strings again the next two bars then back up to the, to the next two bars up to the 12th fret for the Dustma Brumel Moore James lick again Then 
then bar nine is on the seventh fret. The slide right across the entire guitar. Keep the bass going and pick out the um, top three strings with your finger. Then next bar down to the fifth fret, and we're just bringing a bringing a run just to give it a bit of colour, a bit of variety. So just. So that's 5th fret on the 1st string, 5th fret on the 2nd string, 5th fret on the 3rd string, 3rd fret on the 3rd string, 3rd fret on the 4th string, open, open, open on the 4th, then into the 11th bar which is a little turn around which is basically which is basically 3rd fret on the 5th string, 2nd fret on the 5th string, 1st fret on the 5th string, open on the 5th, then up to the 7th fret, the 12th, 12th bar, the 12th bar, then back up the 2nd chorus. So I'll just go through the whole thing all over again, um, hopefully it'll be clearer this time. some use. Um, if you want to see um, some more of my YouTube videos featuring slide guitar, I've got Highway 49 by Howling Wolf, um, the blues classic featuring slide guitar and also a song I've written myself, slide guitar song, slide guitar blues as a tribute to Brian Jones of the Rolling Stones who died, he's long since gone but was still a great musician. Um, well thank you very much for watching this and I hope to come back again sometime with another slide guitar video to give you some more instructions. Thank you very much. <laughs>